Hey guys, Dark Ope here, and welcome back to another video. This one's a little different, as this is actually going to be a review. We're looking at the Endoparasitic, which just uh, was released on the 24th of October. Thoughts on the game so far is it's actually pretty fun. I managed to get to the end in about roughly four hours of play, and that's what you kind of expect from a $10 to $14 game. What I can say about the game is that it is very fun. I would say that the creator, obviously going by the wiki definition of what a horror game is, he accomplished what he wanted to do. So, big thumbs up for that. I just only found minor bugs here and there. Uh, one of them being where you can actually trap some of the scientists in the game with your later down the line crossbow weapon. In addition to this, the achievements in the game are not working at the moment. They only actually detect in the game itself and not on Steam, so just waiting for an update to actually fix that. Another gripe I would actually have with the game is that there's only really one type of enemy at the moment, and that's just melee based. There are five different enemies in the base game. There is the mutated scientist, the mutated lab rat, the corpse trap, the mutated lab monkey, and the hunter. Each of these enemies are really only melee based. They have to get into contact with you to actually do any damage. If the developer plans to continue with this game, I'm hoping he actually adds some kind of ranged enemy towards the game. This would add additional challenge to the game, as well as more strategy involved with where the player can actually be at all times instead of just staying in one spot and easily finishing off enemies from a distance. The reloading mechanics in the game are actually really fun to add to the horror experience as you're really stressing out when you're trying to reload your weapons in time. Story-wise, I actually found it really enjoyable when you're progressing through each different levels of the game. I'm not going to spoil it at all because I want people to at least experience this for themselves and if they actually want to support the developer in this game. Overall, I would highly recommend this game if you want to actually support this developer and see where he goes in the future. This is a pretty good horror game to start off with if you want to get into the genre itself. Anyway, that's it from me. Hope to see you guys in the next one. Peace.